What's up, guys? It's your boy Shaylee again, here in the flesh with a pink shirt on. Not sure what filter I'm gonna put on this. It may not be pink anymore, but it is pink. It's like Pepto pink. Anyways, so I'm here to tell you guys what the future of Day Shell is. But before I do that, I just wanna say thank you guys so much. Like, we fucking did it. We launched a campaign over a year ago, we smashed it. We found a producer, we did that. We went through hell and back, we struggled. We did this, we jumped over this hurdle and blah, 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 blah. And then boom, the album comes out and it's more successful, I believe, than any Day Shell album has ever been. And how that happened, I don't fucking know. But I think I have, I think I have an idea. And that's all you guys, dude, straight up. All of you guys did this and made this a possibility for me. So thank you, man. I have met so many amazing people along the way, some lifelong friends. I've learned so much. I now know what to do and what not to do and what to avoid. Um, I'm filled with uh, gratitude. It, it's amazing, man. It lit a fire that I that I didn't even know I had inside me left, you know? I thought this was like the, the epitome of the end of my road, you know? But, um, but yeah, man, thank you guys so much for supporting it. It's been such a wonderful, time and putting seeing the smiles and the posts and the appreciation has just been you know breathtaking i guess um but you know the real question that is lingering and you know what this whole video is really about is uh what is the future of day shell you know what is what are we gonna do now is it your last album like you said it might be blah blah blah, blah. um well it's safe to say that it's not my last album anymore because like i said you guys showed me and you've lit a fire and you've shown me where I stand in this industry and as a musician and and you, the dedication as a fan. You know, you guys, I have really dedicated fans and sometimes you for, you don't see that and you forget and, and you get blinded, but wow, you guys pulled through and you made this the most wonderful experience ever. You know, as hard as it was for me, you guys held me together. You were the glue that, that I had to live up to. I, I, I had to pull through couldn't disappoint and I did my very best you know so thank you for that but we're gonna do a new album more albums endless albums I don't know however long I live however long I can continue to do this you know and keep writing decent music um I, I have some news I can't really say it all and give it all away but what I can say is yes, there will be a Day Shell fourth album at the very least again. Uh, and I found the producer that I'm gonna do it with and I'm so excited. I didn't even have to search far. This person that I highly respect and I've worked with before emails me out of the blue and basically filling my ego in a sense, just being the nicest guy in the world, saying he would love more than anything to do uh, uh, Day Shell's next album. So whew, this person and me, we work like PB and J. I, he's one, he's my favorite producer I've ever worked with. Um, and he's just a uh, all around amazing musician. And he has his way his mind thinks. He's just so, it's just admirable, dude. Like I'm, I'm excited to work next to him again, especially my, my new mindset with wanting to be an engineer and a producer. I'm excited to see how he can expand my sound. Um, this is the most exciting album I think Day Shell is going to do. Because every producer prior to Day Shell were people I never knew or worked with, and that's not to say they were bad, but I just never really worked with them and I wasn't sure how the product was gonna turn out. Uh, this guy, I know. I know what's how it's gonna turn out. It's gonna turn out better than anything I've done. So, you know, that's if I write, you know, better songs though too. I still have to go in there with good songs. So yeah, that's happening. Uh, I won't tell you who until it's etched in stone and for sure, but it's gonna happen sooner than later. I'm not, I'm still independent, so I don't have a label right now. So I'm able to do what I want and I'll have to wait for nobody. And uh, so yeah, dude, <laughs> that's a cool thing. It's definitely not gonna be three years. If I had it my way, which I'm gonna fight for, the second quarter or end of the first quarter of next year, a new album is dropping. But right now, I got a lot of figuring out to do. You know, it's definitely a huge process. Am I gonna be on the label? I don't know. My manager's starting to label up and we're um, definitely gonna see what's up there. 
I'm excited to hear what it's all about. It's still like, you know, being built or whatever. I'm not sure too sure about the details. I'm just, I just know he's an awesome manager. He's an awesome friend. And I know that if I did get on this label, it would be a little bit of a different situation than obviously than my prior ones. So that's something to be uh, interested and excited about, but I'm still not sure. Either way, I don't know. But the first things first is I'm gonna keep, just keep writing and get the music ready because that shit will fall into place eventually. If we have to do another campaign, then so be it. I'm just a little iffy about doing that for my image or whatever. But I think especially after all the hurdles that I went over learning how to run a campaign and getting all these manufacturers to do this stuff and people screwing me over, blah, 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 blah. I learned a lot. And I think going into this one, it's gonna be a complete turnaround. Since I know people now, I have connections. I've built this like mini empire for Dayshell. Uh, I just think it would be a, a lot more efficient this time around. But that's something that I don't know if I have to do. And it's always something that's for me, I look at it as a last resort and uh, not as, you know, it, so, you know, I don't wanna have to do the last resort if I don't have to. But if I have to, and you guys want it, then that's, I guess, what I will attempt to do again. But whatever, you know, that's, that's whatever. What I'm trying to say is new music, everything will fall into place eventually. Um, also, you know, there is another question. What about touring? What are you gonna do about touring? Is that gonna happen anytime soon? Are you coming here, are you coming there? And the answer is, I'm not entirely sure uh, with my back and my body aches and uh, it's, it's very <laughs> hard to think about anymore. Towards the tail end of my last tours, you know, it was becoming a miserable, miserable experience for me to the point where, you know, my attitude was just numb and, you know, don't talk to me, just very, very, very sad. And I don't want to put my body through that anymore and it's not right. So I've been taking this time to really focus on my health. I have a great chiropractor that works on me. I've definitely gotten better. I'm definitely walking around more. I'm able to do my things and feel a little bit of relief. But if you're asking me, to be honest, I'm, it's not enough yet. I don't know how long it's gonna take you there, if I'll ever get there. But either way, it's just a matter of figuring out the right touring experience. So I'm, I'm in a situation where I'm getting the proper sleep and I'm not coming home with negative money like 90% of the time we do to do that, if you didn't know. And that's no hate towards anyone, it's just an expensive thing. It's a, it's a very expensive to tour if you're not like a big band that's getting a lot of money to play these shows. So that's something to think about in the future. But first things first, new music. I know that's the most important thing to you guys and that's the most important thing to me. Seeing me live is just a plus if I can do that. So we'll work on that eventually. But for now, just, you know, when you fall asleep tonight, know that there's more music coming. All I'm doing is trying to figure out how I want to approach this next album to differentiate, differentiate, excuse me, it from previous ones. Not in a sense of doing a complete sound change, but just accenting and developing what I what I'm trying to achieve in my head. I don't know what it is, but I want to have a sound that is just a unique in its own right, and it's undeniable uh, when you hear it. You know who that is even if it's just the drums or the guitar part, you know, how it's played, you know? Um, so yeah, but that's pretty much about it. Um, I'm not sure if I said it all clearly or whatever, you know, I do these in like one take, so whatever. Actually, this is the third one because I keep fucking up, but either way, there's no cuts. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much. Rest easy tonight. More music is coming, figuring out if the label's right and figuring out when I can be ready to tour again. Anyways, guys, keep spreading the music. Thank you so much for everything. We did it. We did it. And we're going to do it again. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Okay.